today we are taking a look at the Hasbro Marvel Legends Iron Man Model 01. He is part of the Avengers Earth's Mightiest Wave, the 60th anniversary celebration of the Avengers. He comes in the standard windowless packaging. On the back is a product shot and the other accessories the figure comes in. On the side, we have a art from his first appearance in Tales of Suspense. Here we have him up close. You can see that as my mate Toy Lips mentioned, the only paint done here is on the chest, which is the arc reactor. You can see there's a blue paint there. Everything else is the perfected Hasbro Silver Iron Man plastic. Though it does not have any painted details, Hasbro has generously sculpted a lot of detail on this figure. You can see the scratches there like Wolverine scratching him or his armor scratching or hitting something like rocks. You can see the scratchings there and it's different color as well. It's The plastic is has some kind of uh, silverish gunmetal type of finish but the scratches are white as you can see it's it's very prominent it's like you actually drop the figure and it has scratches on the bottom of his feet is some um, design as well it's a well sculpted figure he comes with a pair of open palm blasting hands but for this time around unlike other iron man's it doesn't have any holes for you to peg in the blast effects there is some scratching between his fingers he comes with an alternate pair of punching hands again there are some scratches on this uh fists here is the blast effect which you can peg in to any of the two holes at the bottom of his feet it is uh, a bit reddish orange in color translucent and you can put the uh, smoke effect which is all black fortunately we can not peg this effects to his open palm blasting hands the figure stands 17 centimeters or 7 inch tall According to the Impo trading card, Iron Man is 6 feet 1 inch tall. Here is some size comparison with Deadpool and Wolverine. Next up, we have Jean Grey and Magic. Next, we have Marvel Legends New Body Mold, Vulcan and Cyclops. Next, we have the Renew Your Bow, Spider-Man and Spinneret. And some figures up for my review which is a Black Widow and Elektra coming soon. Next we have some 7 inch scale figures, Marvel Select Sabretooth and the Incredible Hulk. Let's take a look at how this figure articulates. His head can look from side to side but not up or down. His arms can extend that far. For a chunky type of figure, he is very poseable. On the back, some details as well. He has a bicep swivel right here. He has, he can do a 360 there. He has a double jointed elbow here, which is surprising considering he's really a thick uh, figure. There you go. You can see the nuts or bolts there which is sculpted as well he has a hinge forward and back here for his wrist he has swivel he has a waist swivel right there he has an upper tie swivel again you can see the nuts or bolts on the side sculpted in sculpted on his knees as well are those and he has a double jointed knee his feet can hinge forward and back and he has an ankle rocker so 
even if this figure is a little bit chunky, it does articulate really well. My final thoughts. Hasbro has been excellent in terms of making Iron Man figures and this is one of them. Though there is not much paint, it is well sculpted with so much details that when you take photos, those details just pop. And the light bounces really well on his silver plastic body. Hope you check out our shop if you're in Australia and soon I will be taking a look at different figures that just came in. Thank you for watching. Hope you enjoyed this video. Please like, share, subscribe, comment, and ring the notification bell.